So, uh, you have mentioned before that, uh, you know, like you was going through a lot of, it almost seems like a depression thing, you know, like anxiety, you know, like you're getting in front of like the camera is like, you know, it's like you kind of like freeze a little bit. Like, did it affect you like to the point where it was like, you know, you really couldn't sleep. It was, it was causing that much anxiety to the point where it was causing you a depression almost. Like, did you ever get to that point like that? Uh, yeah, man, I think so. You know, because this thing, right, like we're creating the videos and um, and just shopping, right, copping sneakers. It's like a, um, you know, it's like a, it's like a high, right? You get hooked on that. You heard of people they like shopaholics, right? Yeah, yeah. And then you get it's like an addiction. And what comes with that, with that, is like depression. You know, you, I think you get like you get that rush from posting a video, you know, getting all the crazy views, comments, and you get a rush from watching it. You know, you do boom, post it, and then you can watch it, and you can see it increasing, and you get them. Um, um, that dopamine, right? Mm -hmm. You get that just same thing. You're exercising, and, um, and and when you don't have that, you feel off. You feel like you, yeah, like you you get depressed. That's mm -hmm. that's for sure. And then, like you know, as far as like, you know, I was always thinking about this, right? I'm always, you know, about videos and sneakers and things. Uh, how to make a video different? You know, I started like getting uh, different software and different cameras and mm -hmm. having to learn how to use them. And, you know, it's a total obsession, right? It's like mm -hmm. all the time mm -hmm. thinking about it and like, it's like chasing that high. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and, and, and so, so it's like, you know, like you're going through this and you're like, wow. But then at the same time, it's like, you're starting to get, I mean, cause I'm sure that you read these comments too. And a lot of these comments aren't great comments, you know, but that's, you know, that's one of the things is we have to accept what it is. You know, there's people that's going to say, you know, things that are accurate and then there's some people that's going to say like the most hatefulest thing you know um has there ever been a point where it's like you came through somebody uh within the culture especially like with these youtubers because you have a lot of youtubers now i think uh when you were starting we consider them now pioneers you know like people that's like paved the way um and it seems like now like there's people that got beefs with other like youtube channels and there's people that don't like each other for whatever reason you know like yeah yeah i got i got that i won't say constantly but um i remember i don't even remember their names but it was a couple of people i remember um one guy was like i, I forget where he was getting sneakers from i think it might have been air randy or some one of the early websites okay. and, and then i think they cut him off or something or they were gonna cut him off i don't know the details and he was like he was like man what did you say what'd you do to make them uh, you know and i had nothing to do with that it mm -hmm. had nothing to do with, with me but he felt that that because of I don't know something that they stopped sending them sneakers, so there was like there was that, um, and then um, and then there was you know people just 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 people just uh, um, just you know hitting on the ch you know hitting on me hitting on the channel mm -hmm. and, and hating on it um, for either accurate reasons made up reasons or or for or for accurate reasons, mm -hmm. um, but. Um, Oh uh, yeah, yeah. So I never had an encounter like in the street or anything like that. Right, it was right, all right. like online, you know, online. I remember also starting to come back to me on on some of the forums. There was a point where I wouldn't even go on the forums anymore because as soon as I posted something, it was like eh, it was like dogs on me, uh, biting and chewing, and I was like, damn. Um, like can I live? Yeah, I saw. I couldn't. Yeah, it was an attack. You know, yeah. I was getting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was so you know that, that I think that would bug me out too, you know, but I'll having to look over my shoulder. Right, 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 right. So yeah. so I mean, so you know, you're doing everything and then at one point like you it came to your head that you just wanted to stop all this, you know. And I'm sure like you're married, right? Yeah, yeah. So family, you kids. know, family, kids and everything. No like, grandkids yet, though. No grandkids. Well, that's good. What was your wife saying? Like, <laughs> you know, like was your wife was just like, like, listen, Carlos, like you got to kind of like slow down with this because it's, I could see that it's taking a toll on you, you know, because it's, it's always good when you have uh, somebody uh, from out the box looking in, like, right, you know, right, like you're right. in the box and, you know, like you're, you're, you're constantly doing everything that you have to do to actually keep up with the channel. But right. you actually have somebody who's probably not so sneaker savvy. You know, probably somebody who's just, you know, supports your hobby, but at the same time has an opinion. So, like, what right. was her opinion, like, behind all this, 
like craziness. Yeah, you know, I never had anybody like that, like you know that that saw that I was getting stressed out and, mm -hmm. and told me to take a breather. Mm -hmm. I, that never happened. Mm -hmm. I wish I did. But um, but as far as like family and and, and stuff like that, when I first started, mm -hmm. everybody was hating. They were like, "What the hell are you doing? You know what 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 are you doing? Yeah, that that was they they were like, "What you wasting your time?" It was like. The negativity mm -hmm. from the people closest to me. Now, I say negativity. They're just telling me. I mean, they were trying to look out for me, right? Mm -hmm. They they weren't just hating to hate. Mm -hmm. Um, they're just you know. But they there was nobody encouraging me <laughs> to do what I was doing. Let me tell you, and um, and that made me want to do it more. Mm -hmm. I, I love you know. Actually, that, that's my gas. I love that when people, you know, uh, uh, say I can't do something. <laughs> right, that's, right. Um, but um. Yeah, that's that was it, you know. Yeah, they, so but then there was a point where, you know, there was the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, uh, a video contest. Okay. Um, did you did you know about that? No, 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 no. Yeah. So so U.S. Me. Chamber of Commerce, they had a video contest on YouTube. Okay. And um, they said um, they it's called Free Enterprise. They want people to enter, create a video on YouTube. And that video um, about free enterprise, like starting a business and how free enterprise, uh, it, it, you know, has benefited you okay. and your business. And you create that video, put it on YouTube, you load it up to their channel, I think it was, okay. to their channel. Yeah, that's and then um, people would vote on it every day. Okay. So it was all over the country, U.S. Chamber of Commerce in D.C., the head one. And uh, people all over the United States was voting every day on videos. Okay. And it was like, I think, over 100 so, um, right. So I did that, made the video and, uh, people in the community, I owe this, I owe all of this to the people in the community. I couldn't have done it without, I couldn't have done it without them, you know, and I still deeply appreciate it. I won $50,000, nice. the grand prize. I went to DC. I went to see Obama speak. Okay. I went, it was like a whole red carpet, you know, there was a, a buffet in in D in Washington D.C. and this wow. there was dudes that were like, you know, these these wow. these these are the main cats of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. They're not your local little U.S. Chamber of Commerce in your town. Okay, okay. right. These are all you know, you know uh, big timers. Yeah, and uh, it was funny because I was I was in there. I was like, man, it's my opportunity. You know, of course I got the cash, and I'm like, I try to make some deals in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and, and <laughs> I, now that I think of it, I was so stupid, man, because I was like. Yeah, yeah, you know they're like they, you know they want to uh, they introduce themselves, you know, mm -hmm. you know, congratulations. And then I was like trying to sell them or something. Mm -hmm. you know, I was like mm -hmm. I trying to sell them on my on my you on my YouTube or my you know, and they were just you know they 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 were you know they weren't uh, uh, rude or anything like that. Right. But now that I think about it, I sound I must sound stupid <laughs> to these guys. These are like CEOs, right? And, 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 and congressmen. Yeah, yeah. And, and you're the sneaker guy with your video. But when that happened, uh huh. The family didn't, uh, you know, <laughs> no more criticism. I took the whole family down there. I took my mom's down there. Okay. You know, okay. I my sister. I said, y'all going to see this. You'll see me on stage getting this big old check. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> that's when it matters. I mean, like, when it seems like when you're getting rewarded for something, you know, that, you know, with family, like, that's when this matters. And, 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 and it seems like it's legit now. Oh, okay. Like, now I see that what you're doing actually works. But until they don't see that money, to them, it's like a waste of time. Yeah. You yeah. know? Yeah, so, yeah. So um, what was it like stopping, man? Like, because you're reading forums every day. You want these shoes. I mean, because they're coming out every week, right? And then all of a sudden, like, you stop. But it's like, you know, like, you stop doing the videos. And it's like two weeks. It's like, damn, I have another video. But then I, I forgot that I'm stopping. You know? And then, like, what was it like to just stop something that you were doing for years like you know a big empty hole <laughs> yeah it was like a big empty hole uh it's like uh it's like cold turkey right i was going cold turkey withdraw and um um yeah it, it, it was hard it, it, it was hard you know it was hard and um you know, and I still be lurking, right? I still mm -hmm. be lurking, checking out what other people are doing. Mm -hmm. And they were like, damn, that could be me. Or mm -hmm. damn, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and uh, so, yeah, yeah, man, that's uh, that's how it felt. Do you see somebody doing something that would kind of make you be like, shit, you know, like maybe it's not too late for me <laughs> to actually like jump in this mix? I don't know, man. You know, 
I wasn't even thinking uh, so much about it. And uh, till we've been, you know, we started mm-hmm. talking and mm-hmm. you got to ignited mm-hmm. that thing in me. Yeah. yeah that's yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. that, that, yeah. You know? Um, so yeah, I, I've been, I, you know, I, I, I mean, there was a point where I was saying, yeah, I'm not going to do this anymore. People mm-hmm. ask me, mm-hmm. I'm not doing this anymore. They're like, really? You, you know, my uncle and relatives, mm-hmm. like, really? You're going to, and they all, kind of, every once in a while, they're like, yo, what's your channel again? <laughs> what's it? Yeah, Cause yeah, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. they're still talking to people about yeah. it. And, yeah. And uh so uh so yeah, but but you know, since the you know, since we've been talking, yeah, I kind of been thinking about I mean I was thinking a little about it anyway. Right. But it was just a thought and then I've been thinking about it more and stuff. But, well yeah. I'm, from what I've been seeing lately, when uh you're doing something good, you're gonna be missed. And you're gonna be missed by people that you didn't expect. And and I'm gonna tell you like, um it was a lot of people that like I don't even have a lot of followers on my Twitter, but like when I seen like premium Pete, you know, retweeting, you know, good convo. I can't wait to hear part two. And you got people like, uh, uh, like Rax, you know, he's on kicks on fire right now. He's like, please tell, please tell sneak geeks to come back to the YouTube scene. And then, I mean, <laughs> let me tell you something. Rax is like a hard guy to please. Like, I really don't know of him too much. Um, um, I, 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 I actually knew of him through uh, this uh, YouTube channel called The Sit Down, and this is a guy named uh, uh, Don Drew, and he has a lot of interview with these, um, you know, with these people that people look up to, you know, who's like real deep into like the sneaker community. And I heard that interview, and he basically he dogs everybody out. Like, <laughs> I probably wouldn't even at me because he'd be like, "Yo, your channel is shitty as hell," and all this. But I was like surprised. Like he was like, "Please tell him to come back." to the YouTube scene. So, I mean, like that must be like an encouraging thing because, you know, people want you back on the scene, you know? So it's like, I don't know, like, have you been like looking at sneakers like lately? Like, are you, are you, are you impressed with what Jordan brand has been doing lately? Or do you think that it's still like the same shit with the, you know, with the quality control, like, you know, it being not uh, manufactured, you know, correctly, you know, glue stains, like, are you paying attention to that still? Or like, you know, like, what's your mind at yeah, as far as shoes? A little bit. Yeah, I'm still, you know, paying, ten- paying attention to a little bit. And um, uh, not too much. I'm not getting into the forums. Uh-huh. Um, and, um, uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's still the same. Um, you know, I'm not really the one to 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 judge this because, I, like I said, I haven't been looking at it. But, you know, they always offer something that's, like, premium, mm-hmm. right? Like, you know, with better materials and, and that sort of thing. They're... Their their other uh, line um, um, again. I'm assuming. I'm assuming it's mm-hmm. still the same shit. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you, you know, the state carb feel like cardboard or right. Because the word uh, uh, well, those maroons, right? Those supposed to be a better like a like a bin. Well, this whole this whole year was supposed to be the year of the remaster, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, from what they were saying was they were going to go back to the OG materials. You know, right? Good leather and everything. I think the only shoe that they actually like nailed it was the fours, Columbia fours, Oreo fours. Um, I did see the maroons. The maroons were um, okay. Like it wasn't like the best thing, but it wasn't the worst thing. Yeah. Um, but then you know you have like your aquas, which is like horrible. Yeah. You got you you know like you have a lot of shoes and you and you're trying to figure out like what did they actually like remaster? <laughs> yeah. You know so. It seems like a marketing scheme, you know, to just get people to buy. But it seems like now Kanye is just putting like, you know, now it's Adidas in the mix. Yeah. And everything is the Ultra Boost, you know, Adidas Boost. And, you know, Kanye is just like. Yeah, he's putting some heat out there, man. That, that yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's he's like. tearing he's, it up. Yeah, yeah. He, <laughs> the, yo, he, listen, he's destroying uh, that, it. I miss, you know, that, that he makes me miss. <laughs> like, miss the, you know, sneaker game more when I was looking at some of his stuff. Mm-hmm, I was mm-hmm. like, damn. Yeah, yeah. You know, but, I mean, because he's dropping a lot of heat. Yeah, you yeah. know, and it's it's accessible. You know, you just have to know how to get it. Right. You know, so like, have you been able to get any of the uh, new uh, Adidas Yeezys? No, man, nah. And um, yeah, I regret it, but nah, um, I haven't. I'm pretty sure somebody's gonna listen to this and be like, <laughs> don't worry, Sneaky. <laughs> I got you. As long, let me tell you something. If somebody could get you a pair of 
Yeezy's Adidas Boost. Would you make a review on that shoe? Oh hell yeah! Okay, uh, yeah. okay, you okay. Know. So there me a, <laughs> so 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 there might be a possibility. So there is a possibility that you could go back to review that shoe because that seems like the shoe for you to get for this year, right? Oh yeah, yeah, I think so. I I mean, I mean, you know, I looked at the Camo Five. Was that Supreme? Okay, five right. and um, I like the way it looks. I don't know if I'd like it for me, but mm-hmm. just you know, as right. far as a shoe to get, right, right, right. I was looking. I was like, damn, you know, I like the way it looks. I don't know mm-hmm. if again if it's something that I'd wear, but right, but you know, I I'd review. Yeah, I definitely review that, and you know, I, I was on, I was about to say I'll review anything, but no, I won't review <laughs> anything. I won't review anything, but um, yeah, you know. I would, yeah, definitely. Certain ones, right? Yeah. So, so uh, let's get into some of men, uh, these questions. So, um, one of your fans asked you, uh, uh, what is your opinion on Brad Hall? So, Brad Hall is like this young kid, uh, you know, YouTube sensation. And, you know, he's either loved or he's either hated. And, and the reason why he's hated sometimes is because uh, people that take this uh, extremely seriously – uh, they actually feel like he's mocking them, you know, mm-hmm. with a lot of the stuff that he does in the reviews. And then a lot of the kids actually love him because, you know, it's it's funny, you know. Right. So so it's, it seems like he's not taking this seriously. But at the same time, you know, it's it's a joke behind it. Some people say it's funny. Some people say it's not. Nobody knows who's behind this. You know, he just came out of nowhere and just blew up. Some people say that uh, Complex was behind this kid. Some people say it's not Complex. Some people say they do know, but they're not going to say, yada, yada, yada. So, like, I don't know if you've seen any of his videos and, like, what's 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 your uh, opinion on some of, like, his reviews? Yeah, is that the guy with the glasses? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. In front of the fireplace? Yeah. Uh, I, well, I just got turned on to him, and, um, um, you know, it's different. It's interesting. It's mm-hmm. different. I haven't, I've seen like maybe one of his, I haven't really seen, you know, Mm -hmm. a lot of his videos and Mm -hmm. anything like that. So, um, you know, I think it's good. Okay. I think it's good because anything that brings more variety, more uh, content, more to the community, to the, uh, for people to see, I think it's Mm -hmm. great because everybody's got, yeah, some people are not going to hate them. Some people are going to, going to love them. Mm -hmm. And that's good. As long as it was important, it's bringing more people in to, to, to the community to start Mm -hmm. the discussion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, I mean, I think it's all good. and I mean, I understand it though. You know, like it's, I mean, there's only but so many ways that you could review a shoe. So it, it kind of seems like he's just like making fun of it, but kind of like embracing it. If that makes sense, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I couldn't tell, you know, to be honest, I, I, to, to be able to say if he's if he look if he's faking it or I mean, I I I, I think it'll be. I think it's a mixture. You know, maybe he's some of it he's faking it, mm-hmm. and some of it is original. You know, is he, that's the way he is, or something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, who knows? Because nobody yeah. knows. He's yeah. like a mystery guy. All right, so somebody asked, uh, uh, up, up tempo air. Uh, you know, what was your affiliation with that? Because there was a lot of speculation that you owned it. Because it, it oh, kind of seemed like after you disappeared, like that website disappeared. So, like, what was your uh, affiliation with that? Because you was at at some point, did you? promote that website or like what was going on with that yeah i don't don't even remember to be honest but no i didn't i didn't i didn't have ownership in any kind of website okay or 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 store anything like that i was often got that you know when i would uh uh you know promote somebody sneaker father was a big one Mm -hmm. um and and they would be yeah people would be like oh he's part owner his website whatever whatever but no i never did uh up tempo i can't remember you know honestly i can't remember i'd have to look at my videos to Mm -hmm. see if I ever did anything, if they sent, you know, you know, if someone asked, uh, I guess maybe I did, mm-hmm. um, that they sent me something and I reviewed it. Um, but yeah, no, nah. never had no affiliation. And you, and you know what? And there was some, there was some sites and I don't know if this was the, one of them that sent me something. And then, and I knew immediately, you know, that, oh no, 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 let me take that back. I didn't know immediately. I didn't know until actually I posted the video and people started telling me, yo, that, that shoe looks whack. Something's wrong with that shoe or something like that. And I didn't even realize it. You know, mm-hmm. I just cracked the box open, started mm-hmm. shooting, showing it to people. And uh, they were seeing it for the first time like me. I remember that happening on a video. Mm-hmm. And they were like, yo, that thing, something's, you know, ain't right. And, you know, they started. But I looked at it and I was like, oh, shit. And then, you know, I contacted the, the whoever it was. And I was like, yo, I'm not dealing with you. Your shit is, you know. <laughs> whack, whack. Whacked, whacked. Double whacked. Do you think that a lot of those, like, 
like factories like still exist and do you actually think that or do you believe that a lot of these youtubers are still uh using their product or are they like pretty much extinct from like you know the the i guess the shoe culture oh hell no i think i don't think it's extinct at all man uh you, you know a counterfeit fake if that's what you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. yeah, that That's like one of the biggest industries on the planet. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you go to Chinatown in New York City, right? That, that's, you know, that's 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 you know, all it is there. But um, so, yeah, no, nah, it ain't dead at all. There's I mean, because people making money hand over fist. I mean, because a lot of people don't want to come to the realization that uh, unauthorized early pairs are, are fakes, you know. Right, a, right. a lot of people don't want to come because they're the ones that's getting it. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like, I ask that because, you know, it's like I said before, like you have these YouTube channels and they're dropping these reviews, like for the 72 tons, you know, they're, they're reviewing these shoes like six months right before. I mean, you have to ask, listen, I mean, <laughs> it's funny that you say like the, 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 the Supreme fives. I remember I saw this guy, he did a, a, a review for, uh, uh, the camo Supreme fives. Right. And the thing with Supreme is that they don't put on a date. And mm-hmm. if people notice, uh, when when the shoe started to hit the surface for the blogs, the blogs can't even tell you a date because it's all up to Supreme, like, when they're going to drop it. Um, somehow, this guy had the pair early. You know, he does a review. And, uh, like, he kind of blocked, like, from, like, people leaving, like, comments. But it was, like, the jump man in the bottom of the shoe was just, like, totally off you know and even like the box logo was just like centered it was just like (laughs) crazy i'm like yo like am i (laughs) am i the only one that's seeing this you know but if you like leave it up to a person like that you know nah man this shit's not fake man you know i get this from such and such place and it's like they want to be in denial that is not you know authentic you know yeah yeah man no because you know because uh I, i was like that for a while too I was getting stuff early that, you know, if you're not getting it. So now, if you're not getting it from an authorized dealer in the box, you know, in the box receipt and all the proper uh, product, then it's not, it's not legit. Mm-hmm. Right. And, uh, but it took me a while to even actually come to that conclusion because, uh, you know, I, for multiple reasons. Mm-hmm, right. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, one of them is because I used to buy a lot of used shoes mm-hmm. and I never would get all that. So, mm-hmm. but, um, but yeah, then then you know with all the scandal that was coming up with what I what, what with my channel and what people were feeding me as far as shoes, mm-hmm. um, then I started I had to re, you know take a look at that and say okay how do you how you know and, and that that wasn't my decision as people you know it just came out mm-hmm. I guess on the forums and said this is how you and I said that sounds good you know but yeah so definitely there's still fakes there's still are people making video people making videos with it it's the biggest economy one of the biggest economy. Uh, uh, economies in the world so people are and and i still get requests uh for, you know from people i don't know who the hell they are companies mm-hmm. websites um that want to first you know they want to be my friend they mm-hmm. want to you know connect with me and then uh, it's, uh you know whatever then they want me you know send me shoes to review mm-hmm. and i'm yeah you know, i'm not even dealing with that mm-hmm. uh unless it, again it comes from an authorized dealer, dealer. Mm-hmm. and everything straight up so yeah getting stuff six months early I mean, it's it's rare, you know. If you get like, um, you know, the 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 sample pairs, mm-hmm. I used to get a lot of sample pairs that you have to get them, you know, specifically from Nike. Mm-hmm. You know, somebody that's at Nike that they or from the lab, Innovation Lab. I'm not sure that's the name of their lab um, that they have, but um, um, or you know, or samples that you know sometimes stores get samples mm-hmm. and they get dropped. I don't know, you know, they get the sample and mm-hmm. sometimes they they'll they'll give it to somebody to review or to right. sell it or whatever. Right. Um, all right, so the following question that we have here is from uh, this is actually like a YouTube comment that says, uh, Did you ever cross paths with uh, Joe Venuto because he had some affiliation with uh, with Air Randy? So, did you ever cross paths with him and like how was that encounter? Yeah, no, I um, Joe, Joe, Joe Venuto, um, we we would communicate online, you know, mm-hmm. I uh, sent me texts or uh, we even spoke on the phone, but um. Yeah, I don't know anything about his affiliation with Randy, if he had any affiliation with him or any uh, uh, sites. But, um, yeah, the extent of, was it that we would, you know, kind of talk for a minute. I didn't really know, really know him. But, you know, we were supposed to 
um, I, you know, we were supposed to do an interview. He wanted to do an interview mm-hmm. one time with me, but I never got around to do it. But uh, that was really the extent of it. We never, you know, we never really, uh, like I never met him. No, okay. I never met him okay. in person. I okay. Met, yeah. Would you ever, it, it, it seems like now, like the big booming business is consignment shops, mm. right? Consignment shops, every damn where. Consignment shops is like starting to become like Chinese corn store, like Chinese corner store, like mm. the consignment shop everywhere. Would you ever open up like a sneak geeks consignment shop you know like to sell like resell <laughs> shoes or like was you never into like the whole reselling shoe thing because there's one side of the world that says that resellers are messing up the game and that the mm. shoe culture is the way that they are because of resellers and then the other half is like you know that's you know that's business savvy you know you're getting into a market that's booming you know you you become a business owner you know or business savvy at an early age like you know, like what's your 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 uh opinion on that? Yeah, I would I would I would uh start a consignment shop in a minute if I uh, in a hot minute if I had somebody that uh some partners that um knew how to run it, you mm-hmm. know, and knew you know the whole business side of it because mm-hmm. I never ran a store, so mm-hmm. I don't have I have any idea how that works. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm good at other things, but not that. Um, <clears throat> but um, I think it's I think I, I think it's excellent. Mm-hmm. Uh, um. Um, the, the, that whole that whole sub market right mm-hmm. of the industry of the resellers is, is excellent because <clears throat> people are creating a business out of nothing, and whenever you do that, that is that is uh, that is very good. Mm-hmm. That impacts <clears throat> everybody, impacts society in a better way, mm-hmm. right? Um, so I think it's it's a great thing. I don't think is is bad in any in any way. Uh, let the market decide the prices. People say you know that's why the price is so high or whatever. You know people are gonna. Uh, 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 they're going to pay what they want, mm-hmm. right? If people, if they don't want to pay that price, they won't pay it. Mm-hmm. That's what determines the price, the free market. And there's nothing better than to have a free market, um, you know, like that. That's mm-hmm. not controlled by anybody. It's just the people, you know. Right, um, right. However that, you know, whether it's in a consignment shop or on the forums or whatever. Yeah. Right, right. And I actually think that it makes the community uh, uh, the better depending on where you open it at, you know. But you could open it up and, uh, like, in a community where it's like a dead zone, but you have all these kids that's into shoes, you open up a consignment shop there, not all of a sudden like that little area is popping now because of this, you know, consignment shop. So it seems like that's the way of shopping now. Mm-hmm. You know, like I've I've been in plenty of consignment shops, especially in Philly, where, you know, you have parents walking in because now $350 seems acceptable these days, you know, for shoes and whatnot. So it's not like back in the day where it's like, it was like so appalling, right? Like, I'm not spending that amount of money, but it's like, now it's like, what choice do you have? You know, you either could try online and, you know, do this raffle. And now, you know, word on the street is that there's not going to be no release dates coming next year, Hmm. you know? So, uh, it's just going to be a random date. The store is going to know about it and then they're just going to get the shoe. And then like, you know, so that's like the talk right now that Nike is not going to do no release dates coming next year. So, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's, if you're out the loop and you don't know any of it, then it's like, how are you going to get these shoes? You know? Yeah. I mean, consignment shop was, I think the first Jordans that I got, no, no, they weren't. Were they the first? They might've, they might've been one of the first Jordans that I got when I started the YouTube uh, mm-hmm. thing was uh flight club. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, again, more power to that. And, uh, yeah, I mean, they're not going to give out release dates. That's, you mm-hmm. know, whatever. They might not give a less release dates, but it's going to get out. Right, yeah, <laughs> you yeah. You tell the store, yeah. the store is going to, the store just wants to survive. You know, a little store just wants to survive. Make, you know, and they're going to yeah. tell people when shoes are going to come out. Majority of your reviews is all Jordans, right? Yeah. So I'm pretty sure you have some favorable Jordans. Like, what would be like your top five favorite Jordans? Uh, probably all these classic, man. Uh, I mean, uh, um, the sixes, right? Um, In caress. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I, I like those. Those, those were one of my er, one of my early shoes. Mm-hmm. Damn, you know, threes, mm-hmm. um, fours. I mean, if it was between a three and a four, I'd probably pick the three. Mm-hmm. But um, um, mm, you know, elevens. Mm-hmm. Um, elevens is, is is everybody's top. Yeah, well, that's the thing with the. Yeah, yeah. That's. I was gonna say, well, that's the thing with like now. Also now with Jordans, I'm just kind of. It's it's cra- it just to me to me it seems like it's it's, it's blown up so much mm-hmm. that everywhere not everywhere I look but a lot of I just see them a lot more yeah and that's good you know that's okay mm-hmm. you know um it's good um people get get into but so now I'm really really selective you know if I'm 
if I'm going to be getting anything. They, they really, I mean, I haven't been up on it mm-hmm. as much, on the, mm-hmm. but um, I don't, I mean, because I got them all too, right? I got all the, I got them all. So there's really nothing that I'm looking, you know, to, like if I would, somebody said, what Jordan you would get? I mean, I mean, that maroon would have been sweet, you know, mm-hmm. just because of Nike Air. But, um, um, but yeah, I, I, I would be getting other things, you know, other things. And you we kind of talked about it before. I started looking into it more mm-hmm. and, you know, like the stuff that's happening with some of these collaborations and, um, you know, with different old, I want to say older brands to me, the older, mm-hmm. you know, like the, like your A6s, the A6, the A6, Diodoras, uh-huh, you know, uh-huh. Fili, you know, um, but all those brands that I, I, wore, I wore when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So um, it seems to me like those seems to be the brands that are winning because of the material that yes. they're putting. Yeah, man. I saw. So I was looking at something on the shoes. Yeah, that, though, I saw some things. I don't know where I was. Some blog, and I saw some things. I was like, damn. Now, now I would take my wallet out for that. For that, for that <laughs> right? Because it seems like, and and I don't know. Like I'm not. I'm not an expert of this, but who knows what's gonna be like the value of these collaborations? You know, later on. on I mean, because. Like I said, they're good quality, you know, um, and it's, 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 it's a different culture. You know, it's not what you're seeing because it's like you say, like you're walking around, you're seeing the whole from a father all the way to the smallest one and the family got Jordan on. And, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, somebody said, I think it was, uh, um, I saw a review with DJ Dells, right? And he says, uh, he says, you know, with the, with the price that these Jordans are costing you now, you should be able to say, I don't want this shoe. Like, if you get a shoe with so many glue stains mm. and all this, you know, take the shoe back. Right. You know, because the reality is that, like, dude, like, you know, like, you're spending money on this, you know? So, like, it, it, it seems like when it comes to quality, they're not putting in so much on Jordans, but now with these runners, mm-hmm. you know, like, your concepts, you know, Kiff stores, you know, yeah. like, the, the Ronnie Fives of the world. Um, and even like, you know, I used to like the Diodorus, like I keep on saying, I think, uh, 2016 is going to be the year of Diodorus because yeah, they just yeah. been killing it when it came to these collabs, even with, uh, you know, even with the Raekwon purple tapes, mm. you know, he did, he, he did the, you know, like the Diodor, like the N9000. And I mean, the, 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 the support from that, you know, besides it being a uh, Raekwon for it to be a Diodorus shoe, it was a very great looking shoe. So it it kind of seems like when these stores step in, the quality becomes even better. Like I would even say this when um now you have stores like Dover Street Market, mm. like they're doing Jordan collaborations. And it'll be like the simplest thing where you're like, wow, like this freaking quality in this shit is like ridiculous, you know. Right. You know, and 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 even like with the suede, like you know, when they was talking about like with the Supreme Five, like I didn't hear anybody saying that the suede was bad, mm-hmm. you know, compared to the regular Jordan suede's, you know, that come out. So it, it seems like the quality control is better when uh, boutiques, yeah, step in. Yeah, 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 and they, uh, yeah, like you said, man, they just coming out with it. It's, it's some crazy stuff. It looks great, and. Um, yeah, I didn't even know Diodor was still around. It was like crazy when I was like, "What?" Yeah, yeah. Damn, I was like, "Now nah. it's about got me thinking." Damn, what happened to my old yeah, yeah, <laughs> things yeah. when so, I was a kid? So, so, so. I mean, if 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 you had the ability, because Mayor was presented with a a opportunity to do a collaboration with Feli, mm-hmm. and uh, he did the collaboration. Um, uh, he, uh, I think, he released it through a life. If uh-huh. I'm not mistaken, I'm not 100 percent sure, but I, uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was through a life, and he was presented to do the collaboration with Feli. Mm-hmm. If 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 they presented you with an opportunity to do a collaboration, um, with a shoe, obviously everybody's dream would be a Jordan shoe, but we all know that the reality of that is like kind of far fetched, right? right? But if you were to do one like with someone like these, uh runners or like if you was to team up with a boutique store and they say hey you know like let's do like a collaboration like what would it be like what type of uh brand would it be um i'd have to look you know i'd have to look at what's going on Mm -hmm. and and uh and see what's missing Mm -hmm. what 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 uh what's not being served for some reason when you said that i got all these names popping Mm -hmm. up you know adidas Mm -hmm. and feli Mm -hmm. and vans you know pops into my head but um 
I don't I can't think of any particular yeah, brand. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now you're into the whole Bitcoin thing, right? Yeah, man. So 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 for us who don't mm-hmm. know about Bitcoin, like in a, in a, in a, um in an easy terminology, like what is Bitcoin? So Bitcoin, I've been working in Bitcoin for three years now, about three years, and um and I do I do it full time. Uh, Bitcoin is digital cash. Uh, Bitcoin is uh, uh, just like that digital cash, cash that you could spend uh, on the internet, obviously, and or in stores. I'm gonna actually spend some Bitcoin right now at Whole Foods, um, get some groceries, and uh, <clears throat> um, you know you could have it on your phone, and you could and, and uh, you could spend it. You could scan the QR code, but um, it's a protocol, right? And when it comes to software, it's a, pro- a software protocol. Mm-hmm. So I guess another way to an analogy. Um, of it is uh, like, you know, the internet, the internet uh, is one of the greatest inventions, right? To humanity. Uh, and it's a way, it's a communication channel to share information instantly mm-hmm. all over the world, you know, and because of that, it's changed the world dramatically all in, uh, in, in, in the most remote places of the world. Mm-hmm. And that's, uh, and that's great. And the only thing though, you can't really send, you could send information, right? You could send somebody a link to a website or whatever. And, uh, but you can't really send people money. Like if you have somebody's email address, you can't just send them money, okay. uh, meaning in, without them having to go through PayPal or through some bank or, okay. or, or a credit card. So with, with, with Bitcoin, it is cash for the Internet. Uh, um, you, so I'm able to send anyone in the world uh, um, money mm-hmm. instantly. And all I need is their email address. I, you know, I could also send it to their phone, right? Text it to them. Mm-hmm. It's... Um, yeah, so it's a big paradigm shift. I do it full time. I am a miner. A miner is a person that processes transactions, and I consult, and I'm involved in a startup. Okay. So you know, Bitcoin also uh, why it's 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 a big d- difference in what we know about cash. You know, we've been it's hard to understand Bitcoin <clears throat> when you've been conditioned to think of cash as something that uh, you know is generally controlled by someone else. Uh, meaning, you know, if you want to spend your cash, uh, ge- generally you need someone's permission, like a bank uh, um, and that sort of thing. So also, if you go on the Internet to spend cash, I'm sorry, to spend money, 99 cents is the minimum uh, that you can spend, right? Like on an iTunes or on an ebook or something like that. And one of the reasons is because credit cards take 33 percent approximately plus 2.5, 33 plus t- uh, uh, 30 cents, something like that. Um so right there, you're working with 70 cents. And then, you know, like iTunes, you know, the credit card takes 33%. The iTunes takes their piece. And then the, the artists or whoever gets whatever is left over. Mm-hmm. So, um, and that, and <clears throat> it's important to understand that we've been conditioned to think, this is just one example, and there's many others, to think that you could only spend a dollar on the internet, right? Or you could only spend a dollar with your, you know, some stores you go into, you, can, you can't spend less than $10, with your credit card. But with Bitcoin, this is one thing that it does a lot of many, how it changes the whole paradigm of our relation to cash and our relation to the world and the stores around us is that one Bitcoin, when I first told you about Bitcoin, they were $235 about two weeks ago or three weeks ago. Uh, Today, um, um, they're at $430, $430. So, but, so Bitcoin one Bitcoin, like I said, right now it's $435, <clears throat> but one Bitcoin, you could break it down into 100 million bits. So what that means is that you can send someone something for less than a dollar. Okay. Uh, you could send someone a nickel. You can't do that with PayPal. You can't do that with um, anything <laughs> that's okay. out there. And the reason that's important is because that's called a microtransaction because there's people all over the world. Majority of the people in the world only make about a dollar a day. Right. If that and um, and they cannot participate in the economy, in the world economy, because they don't have a bank. They don't have a credit card. And m- most people here in the United States, there's a lot of people, not most people, a lot of people here that don't have credit cards my, or checking accounts. I know people in my family that it's only just recently, you know, maybe the past 20, 10, 20 years mm-hmm. that they um, uh, got like a credit card or, or, uh, or, or a checking account. Actually, mm-hmm. my mother actually has only had it for, for a lot less than that. Point is, um, there's a barrier, right? That a lot of people cannot involve, get, cannot get involved in the in the economy of the world or the internet economy because they don't have a bank account, they don't have a credit card, and or they, you know, they make a dollar a day. 
But with Bitcoin, you can send someone a nickel, a dime. Why that's important? Uh, an example is um, if you have a blog, right? This is an example where you see microtransactions, but we've been conditioned to think about it differently. If you have a blog and you put ads on your blogs, um, the way you get paid is by your CPMs, right? How many views you get uh, per, and you get like a fraction of a penny per thousand views or 10,000 views, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. And then you also get it if you click. But with, uh, with Bitcoin, um, what people are doing is instead of putting ads, they put like a, a, a way that people could tip them and, and, you know, just send them a tip instead of them putting ads on their blogs. So if I go to this guy's blog and I'm looking at it and I like the content, I could send him a quarter. I could send him a dime right through my phone, you know, whatever, a dollar mm-hmm. um, and, 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 you know, help support what he's doing or she and it doesn't have to um, and they don't have to put ads. That's just one example. And what we're talking about is disruption. The biggest uh, website for ad revenue on the internet mm-hmm. is Google, right? Google uh, is a multi-billion dollar company and 80% of their revenue is from ads on the web. And, we're, and, and, and this is one of the things that Bitcoin can, can disrupt mm-hmm. and change the whole paradigm of how we create content and how we, you know, like if somebody, uh, there's another example of somebody is a blogger in Kenya or Nigeria or somewhere or in Cuba and they want to create a website and put ads, they might not be able to because they don't have an account, right? A, like, a, you know, like a credit card account, a bank account that they can link so they could get the ads sent to them. I mean, they could probably get a check, mm-hmm. but they can't cash the check because they don't have a bank account, you know, <laughs> or their check, is, you know, is not accepted in their country. So Bitcoin allows people to bypass all that middleman shit and allows people to take freedom, you know, take control of their own money Mm -hmm. and spend it on what you want. Um, There's only going to be 21 million Bitcoins ever created, right? Uh, So Bitcoin is the uh, internet of money. It's a way to exchange value over the internet. It's a new internet that's being built. Uh, You've heard of Web 2.0. This is like Web 3.0, right? This is, uh, and it's happening now. All the biggest banks are involved in it. Mm -hmm. Um, um, it, um, It's a way, if you like to trade stocks and bonds, uh, like we were talking earlier, if you like to trade, you got you to go to Ameritrade or one of those websites and you need like five or $10,000 to start trading, to make money. And the, and, 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 uh, the, 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 you know, the richest people in, on, the, on the world have made their money on Wall Street, some mm-hmm. of them, and or they have a, a large part of their wealth on Wall Street. It, it, that, uh, a lot of people um, in the world, not just in the United States, can't participate in that because it costs, that was a five or 10 grand just to get a admission, right? Just to open mm-hmm. an account. With Bitcoin, you could start with twenty dollars. You could get ten ten dollars of Bitcoin, and you could start trading like with the big boys. Mm-hmm. And you and you can it totally flips the whole paradigm of money, our relationship with money. And money is like pretty much if you control the purse, you know you control everything. Meaning, you know, in like in this country, right? Whoever controls the the uh, the Federal Reserve um, controls the, uh, the the creation of money in this mm-hmm. country. And uh, you control the money. It doesn't matter who's president. It doesn't matter who's Congress, who's in Congress. It doesn't matter how you vote. It doesn't matter what you read, <laughs> what you believe in, what music you listen to, what TV shows, what uh, occupy, what group occupy you are part of. If, you, if they control the money, they control everything. Yeah. Nothing else matters. And uh, Bitcoin changes that. 2016, would you come back? Sometime, like no, like no specific date. Like, yeah, I'm coming back January 2016. Like, just like sometime next year, would you come back? And what would you change? Would you? Are we gonna see the sneak geeks from back then? Uh, would you like take your time to uh, reinvent yourself? I, you know, I don't know. I don't know how much I would do different because mm-hmm. my personality would come out. I think whatever mm-hmm. you know. Um, well, you, you saw when you was talking to me about Bitcoin, I started talking really mm-hmm, fast mm-hmm, and I was mm-hmm. getting amped and because uh, I, I do get amped about it. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, yeah, I don't I don't know how much I would change. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, I, I, you know, it all depends on the situation mm-hmm. and stuff. But I've been getting into, you know, which I'm going to go do today. I've been doing I've been, get, you know, along with my Bitcoin, one of my hobbies is drones. Okay. So I, be, I do some drone flying, right? <laughs> and uh, so, I, you know, so I'm kind of a little bit obsessed with that. Okay. You know, and I got all these drone models and then. And uh, I'm gonna be going to the park here okay. and meet up with, with a bunch of other people. I do. Uh, uh, we do. Uh, I tr- try to 
FPV racing okay. is where you ra race drones okay. uh, and you got like goggles on okay. and the drone's got a camera on it Sheesh. and you're like this and it's like it's 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 extreme it's like yeah it's totally a any video game or anything like that is like it's not nothing compared to this you like a a Star Wars you know you like a, like when you see the Star Wars episodes when they're like going through the rocks uh -huh, and you uh -huh. that's what it's like and listen you got... <laughs> listen you should. My idea to you is to start a Sneak Geeks YouTube reality show, okay? Like, fuck all this. Like, <laughs> everybody wants you to go back to the sneaker thing, and that's and that's cool, but everybody's doing it at the same time, too. But I would kind of like to see, because you have your hands on so many things, you know, whether it be the Bitcoin, you know, uh, you know, the shoes, you know, the family man, the, the, the everything. Like, right now, like, the hottest shit is, like, Periscope. And, and oh like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, everybody's on Par yo, I actually yo get on my Periscope. <laughs> Periscope.tv forward slash sneak geeks. That's like you spell it. I haven't I haven't posted anything yo, yet. Yo, <laughs> yo, you should because I like I only follow three people on Periscope. I follow Dallas Penn, I follow a uh, sneaker addict, and I follow Mayor. And out of the three, I would say that Dallas Penn and Mayor are the most Mayor is like one one uh um I don't even know how to put it, man. Like he's just like he's all over the place. But I actually enjoy like the shit talk, you know, like yeah, the, yeah. you know, like that NY, like, yeah, look what I got and look at this and this. so it's like I enjoy watching that. So I don't know, man. Maybe you wanna like hop in on Periscope a little bit more and like a sneak geeks reality show, like your everyday thing and then like kinda tying like the sneaker world into it, you know. I think that would be dope, man. Yeah, you should think yeah. about that. That sounds that sounds good, man. That sounds crazy, man. I'm gonna yeah. I might use that idea. But, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I just want two percent, like you know what I'm saying. I just want two percent, man. That's 2%, not much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Killing yeah. me, man. <laughs> at least, at, or or you know something from your collection. Like you have like this big nice collection. Like is, is it like is it ever enough? Like is this is there still things that you want? Um, I think. One of the last thing that I've seen that people are going stupid crazy for, but the money is like ridiculous is, you know, these Eminem 4 collaboration with Carhartt. And again, collaborations, you know, like yeah. it, it seems like whoever has the better quality, that's what they're going with, you know. Mm -hmm. So like, is there like, is there still shoes out there that you're still like, like, like hunting for? There's like, shit, yo, I, I wish I still had this shoe or, I, or, or I wish I could get this shoe, you know? Yeah. I mean... Yeah, there's a lot of them, man. There's a lot of them, and I got to be careful because I do get, like, obsessed with them and, and start, mm -hmm. like, you know, just, uh, um, yeah. So, I mean, there's a lot of them. I never had M uh, M&M 4s mm -hmm. or uh, Undefeated 4s. Uh, I mm -hmm. never got those. Mm -hmm. uh, something I always wanted. Mm -hmm. um, Have you ever collected, like, uh, like SB uh, Dunks? Yeah, 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 I had. Uh, yeah. Do you think that they kind of, like, fell off the pedal stool as well or do you think that they're kind of like you know a lot of people that was like real hardcore into like the sbs even like with the channels like they just kind of stopped because it seems like the quality control even with sbs is just like it went from great to like horrible mm -hmm. you know yeah that's too bad because that was like one of the few places you could still get a good shoe mm -hmm. right and that, uh, uh, one of the few lines that mm -hmm. you that was still making quality stuff and mm -hmm. yeah i mean there was uh I, you know, um, yeah, I was, I was, I did some reviews on some SBs. I still got, and I, you know, I, and I wear them, and I got SBs that I wear. Um, I mean, I think uh, pigeons. You know, mm -hmm. I don't think I ever got that. It just I never got the right price. Never got my size because mm -hmm. I always want. I want to wear them. That was the thing that you know. I was more into the collecting, where not to wear them until one time I, um, um, I had something. I, it was I was in Mocha threes or it was Mocha threes and uh fours i had um that you know just had them on the on the shelf and i was like you know what i'm gonna put these i'm gonna put these shits on and i go to take them off and i see i said what the and there's like a crack uh you know on the back and i go to put them on and them shits they they the like thing, crunch i was like oh the shit. whole thing just came off that that was a turning i was like what the, what am i doing man i spent so much money <laughs> on this shit and you ain't even wear it and i, I never wore it i can't wear it mm -hmm. and um you know so then i that, that's how i made a view i said you know so what am i man am i a collector mm -hmm. am i you know am i just gonna buy things to put on the shelf or am i mm -hmm. gonna wear them so mm -hmm. yeah so that, that I, there was a major change and evolution in my in, in things that i was getting and that's how i am now uh, if I'm gonna get some, I'm gonna wear it. Yeah. You know? You're gonna wear it automatically, or you're just gonna like 
let it sit. No, I let it sit. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> yeah, because there's some people that are like, all right, I got it, but I'm not going to wear it now because everybody's going to, so I'm going to just kind of like take my time with it. I came up, man, like with this thing, like, I don't know, man. I might, I'm, I might get killed, like, by the time I get out. So let me enjoy my 72 tabs, you know, like, let, <laughs> let me wear my 11s right now because as I bought it, you know, just let me enjoy I I used to be from that mind frame, like, you know, like, I'm going to buy this shoe and I'm going to wear it in the summertime, you know. But then it's like, yo, you never know what could happen from here to the summertime. Yeah, so let yeah. me enjoy this shit right now. No, man. I used to wear things immediately, you know. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, a lot of times my thing was I would get something early, mm -hmm. you know, and then I wear them you immediately. Show it off. You yeah, show it off. hell yeah. I go, to, I go to House of Hoops or Foot Locker and they be, dudes' heads be spinning. They're like, mm -hmm. what the? Mm -hmm. well, how? And then, you know, um, yeah, that would, they love, you know, they love doing that. Um so yeah, yeah. Now you know it depends. You know now you know because it, it depends on the item. You know, mm -hmm. or some of these higher end items, these mm -hmm. these real exclusive collabs and stuff like that. I might you know I hold yeah. hold off and just wear for the right thing. Make sure yeah. you know. I mean, because prices of Jordans went up now. Mm -hmm. You know now we at one ninety. You know mm -hmm. these elevens was two twenty. The mm -hmm. maroons were two twenty. So you know it's getting kind of expensive. Have now. you seen the elevens? Have you? Uh... Yeah, actually, actually, my wife bought them for me. Um, it's uh like and dislike. I wore them yesterday. Um, oh, okay. It's like, it's like <laughs> real fucked up materials with really? like nice ideas. Like the, uh, you know, like the back of the shoe has like this. I haven't even touched them. Yeah, know. you know, like the back of the shoe has almost like this fleece type of material, so it kind of looked like that's gonna like become like a hairball type of thing. Like it, it, it it's not well put. Like the liner. Yeah, uh. yeah. But now what what I do like about the shoe, it's like kind of. The patent leather is almost like a translucent sole, so the tumble leather you can see right through it. You know, like you can see the tumble leather, like the underneath. You know, the patent leather with a little bit of that glittery thing. You know, the glittery thing is not really that bad, like people make it seem. But you know, the shoe it's it's nice for uh, a non-retro uh, colorway, but very poorly executed when it comes to some of the materials mm. so you know um but yo thank you man like i definitely want to uh, thank you man for being a part of this podcast man uh you know what's the social media is like man like what's what are you in and what are you not in and what are you more active in and what are you not yeah. too active on <laughs> yeah that's kind of crazy um i guess the way the easiest way to meet for to see something yeah, on social media would be Twitter because mm -hmm. I get all those alerts, you right on on the phone and stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Also, uh, and also I on Instagram, mm -hmm. um, um, and then I'm on everything, right? I got a Facebook Sneak East page. Mm -hmm. I, 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 you know, I got a, you know, I got the YouTube channel and um, on Periscope. Got that account that I'm gonna be kicking off, and, and I'm gonna start doing some things on there. Yeah, man, uh, I want to see you on Periscope, man. I want to see like yeah. your drone experience. Yeah, yeah, maybe I will do something today. I don't know. You know, Depends. I want to see you at Whole Foods, man, like shopping. Like, some, <laughs> uh, I want to see you like reviewing some uh, some salad dressing or some shit like that. You know, yeah, cause, cause, yeah. You know, you're the but like I said, man, I definitely thank you, man. Um, if anybody want to download my free uh uh app, is Killer Kicks is 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 a free app for iPhone and Android. Um, you could definitely follow me on Twitter, Killer Kicks215, and uh, Instagram, Killer underscore Kicks. So, uh, any final thoughts, man? Any? any... No, nah, man. I want to thank you uh, for asking me to do this interview. It's been great, man. Um, you know, a lot of people have been asking me to do something to kind of, you know, uh, kind of explain what happened or whatever. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, this has uh, answered a lot of that. And um, yeah, just you know, as far as uh, you know, my um, sneak geeks still the same. How you spell it? And, uh, yeah, man, you know, hit me up. Give me some ideas if people want me to do something, um, like on a video or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm open to that. I'm open to, uh, to doing that. Yeah, man. And, uh, um, yeah, that's it, man. Everybody be safe. You be safe too, bro. When you, yeah, uh, yeah, everybody. yeah, man. Everybody enjoy your holidays. Have a safe Christmas. Have a safe New Year's. This would be my last podcast for 2015, so... It was amazing. I got to open it with Dallas Penn and I got to close it with Sneak Geeks, man. So, I mean, like, what else can I ask for? I don't know. This was perfect, right? That's cool, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, again, thank you. Thank you to everybody that's listening to this. You know, make sure you, you uh, uh, download the app. And uh, I know I've, I've been seeing you doing some things, some reviews that are, that, that are, that are really good. Thank and, you. Thank uh, you. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, hopefully we can uh, – 
do something like this again, man. Yeah, 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 man. So uh, till next time, everybody, peace out. Uh, like I said, enjoy your holiday, and um, I'll see you in 2016. Huh. Peace out.